welcome back to another food review. It's not another spicy noodle challenge. Don't worry, I'll do it eventually. But, um, well, let's just do it. Mmm, I sure do love Cheetos. Mmm, I sure do love mac and cheese, too. Well, you know what you get when you cross mac and cheese with Cheetos? You get this thing. Oh, boy. Cheetos mac and cheese? What? Oh my goodness. Chester, you've really outdone yourself. <laughs> Cheetos mac and cheese. Okay, wow, I'm super excited to try this. These are Walmart exclusive apparently, and you, also, you can also get them super overpriced on Amazon, but why would you want to do that? So, this is the bold and cheesy flavor, and actually, sneak peek, I have the flame and hot flavor, and... I also have the cheesy jalapeno flavor. So we're gonna do that later too. Not today though. And it says creamy, cheesy, and oh so easy to love. Made with authentic cheesiness. And there's microwave directions and stovetop directions. There's the back. There's the nutrition facts. Oh goodness, it has a lot of calories. Ooh dear. As prepared, 340 calories. Okay. Well, I'm going to be making the entire thing, and I'm going to having, be having my dad eat some. Because what I do with other macaronis, like the Kraft macaroni and cheese, I make half of the mac, and I add half of the cheese, and it's not that flavorful. So I, to get the whole flavor and, the whole, and a good review, I'm going to cook the whole thing. So let's go ahead and cook this, these Cheetos mac and cheese while I eat Cheetos. Everybody. You never know when it's gonna come from where. <laughs> exactly. Just, just hands in air, just suspended in air. That is a lot of mac, man. And it's spiral shaped too. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. we need mm -hmm. our two tablespoons of butter, butter. And I'm not fat, so I'm not gonna put any more. Is that a 
Ooh. Oh, it smells like the old pasta. Yeah, it smells like the old craft one. Because these aren't actually natural. These, unfortunately, have all kinds of bad MSG. And these ones actually have the, ooh, the, the yellow five and yellow six lake stuff. Şimdi makarnamıza iki kaşık tereyağı ekliyoruz. She's speaking her native language, Turkish. Okay, is that two tablespoons? That's one. One? It says two, but I don't know. Let's do two and a half, maybe. Now we're adding. Let's try it low on the heat. Bir kaşık daha ekliyoruz. On the heat. It says wait till that's fully melted. And then we can add the milk. And then we can add... How much milk? Whatever the heck that is. Huh? One fourth cup. And one fourth cup for now. And we can always add more later. Because you don't want to add too much milk first. Then it's going to be gross. And it's going to be... We don't want mac and soup, everybody. No. No mac and soup. Okay. Cheerak bardak. Sütümüz de hazır. Appears to be fully melted. Let's go ahead and turn the heat back off. Okay. Here's our milk in a Turkish tea um, cup. Let's go ahead and pour that all in. Mix that around. Okay. Ooh. Now it just smells like buttery pasta. Or it smells good, actually. And now, it's time for, oops, it's time for not the cheese powder, but Chester's Secret Seasoning, or artificial cheese, or cheese powder, or whatever you want to call it, really. Oh, oh, I see how. always have an adult help you with this, guys. I'm just doing it because I can. Oh. Okay, it wants to be on Playboy, I see. Let's smell it before we... Ooh, Ooh it smells cheesy. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> smells... Okay, guys, sorry the video got cut off. Um, that was my medicine alarm going off. I'm so sorry about that, it got cut off. That's okay. What I was saying was, it smells like mild cheese. I like that. <coughs> I don't know if it's gonna be mild or not. <coughs> well, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's go ahead and toss that all in. Oh, you boy, that's orange. Holy cow. No wonder the artificial flavors. Oh, goodness. Ew, it looks disgusting. It looks neon, radioactive. And if I like it, I'll eat more. If not, I can hand it to my dad. So, let's actually check the temperature. Oh, it's not hot at all. I can eat it right now. All right, so. Oh, God, what was that? Peppy? That must have hurt. All right, so I'll get a bowl, and I'll see you at the table. And in case you didn't see what it looks like, that's what it looks like. So orange. Look at that. That's good stuff, man. That's how you know it's good. Uh, no, it's not tasty yet. All right, so I'll get a bowl and some milk to drink, and I'll see you at the table. Cheetos, mac and cheese. Oh, okay, guys, we're back, and we have our delicious neon orange Cheetos mac and cheese here. So after the subscribe green screen, we're going to go ahead and take our first bite. But first, subscribe green screen. No!
Okay, I think the subscriber range screen has passed. You can never be too sure. All right, everybody, pop my fingers one last time. <coughs> All right, here we go. Eat a duck I must. It's time to dig in. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. It's salty, but it tastes just like Cheetos. Oh my goodness. Identical. It's just like Cheetos in soft form. It's delicious. It's rich and creamy and cheesy too. Yeah, it's good. Mmm. I'm already saying it. Mmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is a win-win. Mac and cheese and Cheetos, two of my favorite junk foods. And it tastes exactly like Cheetos. It's got a butter flavor too. It's got like a hint of butter flavor. I like that. Oh yeah. Ooh, I just got a big pellet of cheese of the seasoning. Ooh. This makes me wonder what the flaming hot one will taste like. And the cheesy jalapeno for that matter, really. Probably both gonna taste really good. I wonder what the flaming hot one will taste like though, especially because spicy mac and cheese, I've never had that before. It sounds interesting, I don't know. And it's gonna be red. Look at the box of the flaming hot. Red, red sauce. I'm gonna do that one next. I'm gonna do the cheesy jalapeno last. Because I'm pretty sure the cheesy jalapeno will be the most yummy. I don't know. On a 1 to 10, I'd give this a good 9, 9.5. It's really good mac and cheese. I think it beats Kraft. Oh, goodness. You know, when I was little, I used to love eating this thing called goldfish mac and cheese. Goldfish used to make mac and cheese. And it was delicious. And it kind of tasted like this a little bit. I'm glad they made a new version because goldfish mac and cheese, you can't find it anymore. It used to be in Walmart, now they don't have it. I'm glad they made a new type of mac and cheese that I actually like because I have my likes and dislikes for mac and cheese. This one is a yes. The bad thing is it gets cold really quickly. I need something to drink. Can I have something to drink, please? Oh, yes, that works. Yes. What are you doing? Sip to make sure it's not poison. I also have my good stuff thing in the fridge. Yeah, this thing will make you thirsty. It is so salty. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> but like I said, I'm a kid, and I don't think I'll be able to eat this portion, even though it is delicious, and I would if I could. But, uh-oh, it's getting thicker. I don't like it to be that thick. I like it creamy. This is just the right amount of creaminess. But, yeah. It has a mild butter flavor, but I like the cheese. It's not too cheesy. It's more salty. It's not too cheesy. It has a medium che cheddar flavor. Oh, yeah. This brings me back. Goldfish mac and cheese, guys. I wish I could find that. If I found that, I'd do a review of it stat, literally, immediately. Sad thing is you can't find that anymore. But yeah, Cheetos mac and cheese is the new hot in town. And I got these at Walmart. They were literally right at the front of the pasta aisle. They were at the front of the pasta aisle. And I was like, oh, look, they have it. They were almost out, though. Yeah. I'm excited to try the cheesy jalapeno and the flaming hot.
Man. The thing is, I'm sad about these. These are so unhealthy. They're even worse than Kraft. They're even worse than Kraft because of the, you know, the yellow 5 and the yellow 6 and the red 40. So I'll only be able to eat these, like, I don't know, every two, three months. Which is really sad because this is really good. Why do they have to make them these bright neon orange? Actually, on camera, I don't know if you can see, it's like that color. It's a lot darker in real life. It's about... Um, it's about, let's see, you see that? Yeah, it's about the color of that. And then I watched YouTube videos on this. The cheesy jalapeno is the most natural cheese, orange looking color. And then the flaming Hot is just, oh goodness no. <laughs> it's red. And I'm drinking this, it's sparkling ice, strawberry watermelon, seltzer water, it's sweet. Mm. You making that one? Four cheese penny pasta. Mom, my, my mom's making Annie's four cheese penny pasta. Here it is. And you know what? I might do a review of that too with you. It's penny pasta, mini penny pasta. It's four cheese. Let me see what that is. Oh, yeah. The out. And she just took the cheese out. Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat that with her probably if I like it. Guess what, guys? I gave a bite of this to both mom and dad. Um, sorry guys, I don't know quite what happened there. I think my camera app just crashed. As I was saying, I gave a bite of this to both my mom and my dad, and they loved it. Scary. I better hide this all to myself. No, don't worry, guys. I'm greedy. I won't be able to finish this anyway. I'll probably give it to my dad or mom or something. I don't know. Or the dog. Ooh. I don't know if the dog can eat this. Um. Hmm? Oh! Can I get a smaller bowl, please, with another f spoon? I'm going to try crumbling some Cheetos on my mac and cheese. Because it says, yeah, try Cheetos Double Dare. Top your Mac with some Cheetos snack. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to eat it in the same thing. I'm very picky. That's not good. Huh? You said the L word. I heard that before. You said the L word. What's up? Oh, no, I did not. Derp. Next time, live cooking shows. We're gonna get everything ready here, right? Okay, I'm still recording. I know, this one, you know, into cooking shows. This is embarrassing. Okay. Okay. Let me scoop out my mac and cheese here to a different bowl. And then, okay, so, that's about right. Okay, here's our smaller bowl of mac and cheese. And then I, well, I already opened my um, Turbo Slamas, but I'm gonna open these ones. These are just regular Cheetos crunchy snacks. Oh yeah, they smell like fart. Mm. Okay. Like what? Fart. So here they are. And yeah. Oh, I guess I've never had normal Cheetos before. I don't remember them being this light. Let's take a bite first. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I've never had regular Cheetos before. They're good. Well, not nearly as good as the mac and cheese. Oh! Let's compare the mac and cheese with the Cheetos. Mm. Oh, almost identical. 
Yeah. Very little difference. This one has a tad more butter flavor, but the cheese flavor, yeah, it's the same. Okay, now how do I crush these Dorito, Cheeto, not Dorito, Cheeto things on my mac and cheese? Like this? Okay. Please, stop. hands be strong enough. Oh, goodness. Ah, okay, now I'm going to grind them like this. Oh, my hands are going to get so dirty from this. Oh, goodness, no. Ah. That's about as much as I can break them. Woo, look at my hands, everybody. Just wipe it on it. Nothing, nothing a little wiping on the pants can't happen. happen. Help. Fix. I meant... What is wrong with my English today? Nothing a little wiping on the pants can't fix. Okay, let's try it with Cheetos. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it's good. But actually I'd say not as good as the Mac itself. Yeah. Max a little better. I'm not going to eat this. Oh. oh, darn, this makes you thirsty. I do like the Cheetos on their own, though. They're pretty good. Ah, but this video is not about Cheetos. It's about Cheetos mac and cheese. In the spotlight. Okay, so and oh man, it's cooling down real fast. Oh man, I don't like cold mac and cheese. No matter what type of mac and cheese it is, I don't like it cold. Mm. Okay, maybe, maybe I can make an exception for this one. It's that good. supposed to be this buttery flavor though I might have added a tad too much butter how much butter do you say two tablespoons oh goodness two tablespoons it says to add I only added a half, one and a half Ooh, imagine what it would be with two yeah it's already got a butter flavor it's a little a little bit overpowering um that's what makes it a 9 or a 9.5. If it didn't have that little bit of overpowering butter flavor, if it only had a little smidge less, then it would be a 10. This, is, this might be the first 10 out of 10 food I've ever had. Oh, <coughs> got stuck in the, oh, in the back there. Have you ever had... You know, like when a long piece of spaghetti or food touches your uvula. <laughs> Why do I know the word uvula? When it touches your uvula or your tonsils and it, <clears throat> it makes you gag. Ugh, don't like that. That can ruin your appetite. So, yeah, guys, unfortunately, since this isn't a spicy Samyang noodle, it is noodles, though. It is technically noodles. It's more pasta than noodles, but they still are noodles because, well, see. They're soft and they're made out of wheat flour. Uh oh. <coughs> so, the, since this is not a spicy Samyang noodle or hot chicken flavored ramen, hochi, or any of that stuff, I unfortunately won't be able to put it on my spicy noodle tier list. So, um, I guess I'm going to create a new list a mac and cheese list. So, this one is number one so far because I haven't done the other ones yet and I haven't done any other Kraft Mac and Cheese reviews. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have. <laughs> um, I've done... Okay, let's see. What have I done? I've done Kroger Mac and Cheese. That was the best one so far. And then I did... Okay, so it goes... So far it does Kroger, Olaf, Big Cup, 
So that's the list so far. Um, I posted the I posted the Kroger one actually. I made the Kroger video, Kroger mac and cheese, a few days ago actually, and I'm gonna post that. And and I posted that one. Um, I this that's gonna be my last post. So the last post you see, it's gonna go Kroger mac and cheese, and then this one, the, this review. So as of right now, it's Kroger mac and cheese, Olaf shapes, big cup craft, Olaf shapes being craft also. And I also made a SpaghettiOs video and the spaghetti meatballs, but that has nothing to do with it. This one goes straight to number one. Straight to number one. Bam, it beats all the other ones by far. Yeah, this one, so it goes Cheetos mac and cheese, um, bold and cheesy flavor. Then Kroger mac and cheese. Then Olaf Kraft. Then Big Cup um, Kraft. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh man, it's gotten real cold. Mm. And it thickened a lot. Yeah. The sauce isn't as creamy now. It like adhered to the noodles, kind of. Still good though, it's still absolutely delicious. Mm. So yeah. If you guys at your local are at your local Walmart, or if you're gonna go to Walmart like soon. Make sure to check the box dinner aisle and look as much as you can. Because I found these ones, like, like I said, I found these ones in the front, so I was lucky. But I saw a video and somebody had to look back, 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 all behind the expired gross stuff, Kraft Mac and Cheese. And then they found, like, one cheesy jalapeno, one flaming Hot, and one Bold and Cheesy. So these are running out of stock fast. And Walmart started stocking them on August 16th, I think. So, yeah, get your Cheetos mac and cheese while it's hot. <laughs> See what I did there? While it's fresh and while it's new and while they still have it. So, yeah. Oh, dear, 10 minutes. So, guys, that was my review of... Oh, dear, I don't have the box. Um... I'm just going to use the flaming Hot one, because it looks pretty much the same, except it says flaming Hot and it has red. So that was my review of the Cheetos Mac and Cheese, um, bold and cheesy flavor. Uh, yeah, macaroni and cheese. It's Cheetos Macaroni and Cheese. And it was, oh my goodness, it hit the spot, man. It was delicious. Best Mac and Cheese I've ever had, easily. Um, Uh-oh. Your timer's up, mother. So, yeah, uh, I might post, I might add a little extra bonus of me eating. I might add a little extra bonus of me eating the penny pasta with mother. So, uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, Cheetos mac and cheese, Cheetos mac and cheese. Chester Cheeto makes Cheetos mac and cheese. Ooh, that's it, that's it. That's alliteration right there. Cheetos mac and cheese, Cheetos mac and cheese, oh, 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 what, even with the mac and cheese, bye guys.